When is the best time of year to visit Belize? If you click this video, you might be coming here in the near future, and, or maybe you're planning a distant trip and you just wanna know, when should I go? In this video, I'm gonna break down the seasons. I'm gonna talk about the occupancy rates throughout the year. I'm gonna talk about rainfall, when we're getting more rain. And of course, I'm gonna give you guys the temperatures month by month, so you have a very good idea of what's the best month for you to come to Belize. So. First and foremost, we have really two fundamental seasons in Belize. So right now we are in the rainy season. And of course the other fundamental season would be the dry season. So the rainy season tends to go from May to November, maybe a little bit into the beginning of December. The dry season, of course, from December to May. So really broken down into kind of two parts of the year. Typically in the dry season, you'll still get some showers that come. And in the rainy season, it might be a little more consistent. But overall, when you get rain here, it's not gonna be like what you might find in a Vancouver, British Columbia, or a Seattle. It's gonna be where you have just rain for months on end. Even in the rainy seasons, like right now we're in rainy season and we're getting little patches of rain. Then you'll walk out and it'll be a beautiful Caribbean sunny day. Then you'll get another patch of rain. So just to kind of clarify, it's not really steady the whole way through there, but we also have what some locals call Norte, which is in November and December, possibly a bit of January where we get a northern wind and that northern wind can bring colder temperature. Some of those days are actually my favorite days of the year because I actually get to wear a hoodie, which when you live here all the time, it's like, it's kind of nice. I'm throwing my hoodie on, I'm chilling, get it. All right, let's go to the rain stats. So annual rain, I've got a graph up here that I'm gonna have the team throw on the screen, but you can see it varies. The area that gets the most rain is the southern end of Belize, and it's actually by a wide margin. So in Toledo, Punta Gorda is the main town there, and you'll see on the graph here that uh, they're getting significantly more rainfall than other areas like Corozal, Orange Walk, Central Farm, uh, in Belize City, San Pedro, really anywhere else. So it's amazing the variance even in Belize going from the northern end to the southern end in terms of your rainfall. But also you'll see on this graph, they all run pretty consistently. So January, February, March, April, May, pretty low rain. And then it's gonna bump up there in June, July, August, September, October, November, and then start coming down in December. So. This graph can give you a pretty good idea. Of course, this is in millimeters of rainfall per month. So that'll really break that down for you guys. Next up, I wanna give you guys the temperatures that we have here month by month, approximately. Obviously, it can vary a little bit. Overall, what you're gonna find as I go through this is it's pretty steady. Like You're gonna see that every month, it's very consistent. So January, we had a range, and this includes kind of nighttime and daytime. 21 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees. For our Americans out there, that would be 70 Fahrenheit to 80 Fahrenheit. Going into February, the exact same thing. March, um, 28 to 23 degree Celsius. That was kind of the variance. 83 to 74 Fahrenheit. April was 29 to 24 degree Celsius. A range of about 76 Fahrenheit to 85 Fahrenheit. You guys are kind of seeing the trend right now. It's all little different variations, but overall very similar. Coming into May, 87 Fahrenheit to 79 Fahrenheit. That would be 26 Celsius to 31 Celsius. Hopefully this is all getting across in an easy way to digest. Uh, June, we get a little bit hotter. So about 28 to 30 Celsius. That would be 82 to 86. July, very similar. August, 26 to 30 Celsius, 78 to 86 Fahrenheit. Uh, September, about 25 to 30 Celsius, 77 to 86 Fahrenheit. October, 24 Celsius to 29 Celsius, 84 to 75 Fahrenheit. Um, November, very similar. And then December is a little bit cooler, 22 Celsius to 27, 71 to 80. Hopefully that wasn't too much to digest. We'll get a graph up there as well for you guys to take a look at that, those stats. What's really interesting though, is when you look at the seasons that people visit Belize, and we have some data right here to kind of break it down. This is for the Belize district. So that includes Ambergris Key, it includes Key Cocker, 
It includes Belize City, Hattieville. So you've got some really great tourism areas. You have some areas that don't receive as much tourism. They're all kind of blanketed into one here. But just to get an idea of the way things move throughout the season. So very similar. What you'll typically find is the rainy season is going to be slower than the dry season. So September, October, the Belize district hovered around 50% occupancy. And then going from November to January, February, March, we get more around 72% occupancy. And then going to April, 61, uh, May goes down to 53.8. This is for this year. And then we actually see an uptick back in June and July. Even though this isn't the rainy season, we typically do get some visitors in June and July or more visitors because a lot of travelers coming from hotter areas of the Southern US want to get a little bit of a temperature break. And it's actually a little cooler here in Belize. And you can go fishing, go diving, you can go snorkeling. So we do get a little bit of an uptick there, then back down to around 53% in August. Some resorts will close for a few months in October or in September just to do maintenance. If they're more of a boutique resort, they're smaller. The big resorts like the Hiltons and the Marriott's, they will stay open year round, but some just do the maintenance, they're gonna shut it down for a couple of uh, months there. So you can see the, the high, low occupancy change. September was the slowest month. February was the highest month. But overall, it really kind of coincides with those seasons. And yeah, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a breakdown to answer our very important question. When is the best time to come to Belize? That is going to depend on what your preferences are. So obviously more tourists is going to translate into higher prices. So hotels use dynamic pricing, which basically means based on demand, they're going to adjust their price. Typically Airbnbs will do the same. Um, restaurants are going to probably adjust. Golf cart rentals are gonna adjust. Actually, you know, restaurants might stay pretty consistent, but golf cart rentals, vehicle rentals, tour companies, all of those things are going to give you a price break if you come in the slow season. Versus in the high season where demand is strong, they're good, doesn't really matter. So if you are more kind of price sensitive, you might wanna come in the rainy season. You're gonna have a couple showers, but it's gonna be beautiful either way. If you're someone that wants to experience that peak energy, you want to be able to go do your day activities. Then you want to go to a bustling restaurant. Then you want to maybe hit the club. You want to kind of have energy all around you, or you can still kind of navigate the high season as well. But if you're looking to have that full type of energy experience, high season is going to be the best time. And of course, you're going to get the best weather. So you're going to have better weather through your trip, more people around to enjoy. And yeah, that's kind of the breakdown. So it really comes down to what your preferences are and what you're looking to accomplish. So hope this helped you guys. We're in rainy season, so I figured this would be a good video to get you guys some just hard numbers on the seasons. And as always, we'll see you out here in paradise soon and in the next video.